Where's the heat in this place? It's getting chilly in here. Doesn't work. You gotta be careful with these things, Sheriff. Get yourself. <laughs> Many are divided as to the most important disciplines of the method school of acting. Few disagree that one of its greatest practitioners is Mickey Rourke. For unlike legends such as Brando, Dean, and De Niro, Rourke's immersion into total character begins not with the script, but long before by basing his very choice of roles on the character's life parallels to his own. Born in Schenectady, New York, young Philip Andre Rourke Jr. moved with his family to Miami, Florida, where after his parents' divorce, 12-year-old Mickey began an amateur boxing career. A simultaneous flirtation with a life of crime led to a hasty exit from South Florida and back to New York, where, to avoid real work, he dabbled in acting. Like what? You know, Bed Bug Eddie. Uh, what about Bed Bug Eddie? What's the use of kidding? I tell Charlie that that's his trucking company. Holy, what's wrong with you? I don't... What is wrong with you? What's the matter with you? What is wrong with you, huh? What is wrong with you? What's the matter with that score like we made tonight, man? After studying privately with legendary teacher-director Sandra Seacat, Young Rourke was accepted to New York's prestigious actor studio, where an impressed Ilya Kazan called his audition the best he'd seen in 30 years. One of the most electrifying talents to emerge from the actor studio, in 1982, the National Society of Film Critics named Rourke Best Supporting Actor for his role as self-destructive gambler with a heart of gold, Boogie Sheftel in what? Diner. Did you lay down a bet with Barnett? Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, right. Everybody bets two thousand dollars and forgets, but so what's the point, baby? Well, the point is, Book, where are you gonna get the two thousand dollars? You haven't got a pot to piss in. Hey, look, the game's a lock. Nothing's a lock, Book. Nothing's a lock. Throughout the decade of the 1980s, Rourke would portray an assortment of critically acclaimed characters whose inner darkness would mirror not only his own, but that of society at large. This would include the heroic detective outrunning his own demons in director Michael Cimino's Year of the Dragon. Martin Fallon, author Jack Higgins' repentant IRA hitman in A Prayer for the Dying, not only attempts to leave his dark history behind, but also seeks to reconcile his collapsed Irish Catholic faith, another character life aspect parallel to Rourke's own. Two sides want total victory, Bar, and I took one side. In war, nobody wants to give or talk. I didn't. I destroyed lives. And now you realize that every time I pulled the trigger, I was only destroying myself. Good friend, Nine and a Half Weeks director Adrian Lyne once stated that had Mickey died after the release of 1986's Angel Heart, he would have become a bigger phenomenon than James Dean and a life lived to excess in the fast lane nearly led to that for Rourke in the 90s. But battling back like the fighter he'd been since age 12, he'd rebuild his career with a series of smaller parts and acclaimed films until taking the world by storm with an Academy Award Best Actor nomination in 2008. <laughs> 